Hello and welcome. Today, I'm feeling like I'm gonna take my own advice and practice coloring with a much lighter hand than I usually do. And I also like working on that mid-tone tan paper. Here we are, color practice day. As a 90s kid, one of my inspirations growing up was Lisa Frank. Um, the name Lisa Frank might not ring any bells, but probably would uh, bring back some nostalgia if you saw it. I'll take a look around for a video or something I can link. How to color, like Lisa Frank, is she uses colors as shadows and highlights, as opposed to like mixing in black and white to get those other values. So for example, if I am doing a circle and I want to shade that in, let's say it's going to be a pink circle. So just kind of doing it quickly so you know what I mean. For a shadow, we'll drop in blue. Blue on a pink ball, that's crazy. Yes, but check it out. We keep going, just watch. Then we go in with a highlight color. And I guess the key thing to point out here is that they are complementary colors that you need to choose so that they work. And then it would be just a matter of going in and blending and blending and blending and blending. Another important thing, a white colored pencil. I used to laugh when I was little. Ah, a white colored pencil, what are you gonna do with that? It's white. Well, you use it to blend. Joke is on you, younger Cindy. If you had known this then, you would be a better artist by now. Better late than never. So just quickly, you can see how the theory of using colors and highlights as shadows works. So when you're watching me draw what I'm about to draw, you kind of know what I'm trying to do. So seeing as we've already done a pink ball, Let's do some sort of cute pink ball character. I don't know, maybe Jigglypuff? Let's go. So that is what I mean by using colors as shadows and highlights. I like adding the little bit of white gel pen around the outside there. Almost makes it look like a sticker. Like it could just pop right off the page even. Um, well, okay, so that just happened. Um, I know I said the white gel pen made it pop. I guess I used a little too much of it. Well, if you like this video, be sure to like it so that I know you did, and please subscribe so you don't miss more art shenanigans.